Good morning, August 27, 2020. I'm Pastor Rusty, and these are my inspirational thoughts for the day. I was reading in John this morning and, and noticed something that I don't think I had noticed before. That Jesus went up to John 7. <clears throat> Jesus went up to the, the Jerusalem temple area during the Feast of Booths. It's the one where he wouldn't go because his brother said, if, if you're who you claim to be, you need to go on. And he wouldn't go. But when they left, he went up there and he began to teach the people. And while he was teaching them, some people said, where does he get this learning having never been taught? And I thought that was interesting. Jesus, probably wearing rabbinical garb, the, the things that identified him as a rabbi and a teacher, um, probably more associated with the sect of the Pharisees than, you know, because they had a belief in Scripture and a belief in the supernatural. And, and he identified more with them, although he didn't like their practices, and he did not identify with their practices. People begin to ask, where does he get this teaching? Where, where, how's he so smart? We don't know what school he went to, basically. And um, he answered, he said, my teaching is from the one who sent me. Then he says in verse 17, anyone who resolves to do the will of God will know whether the teaching is from God or whether I'm speaking on my own. <clears throat> then he goes on and says, those who are speaking on their own are doing it for their own glory. And I thought about that. I thought so many people today like to say they follow a certain teacher or a certain preacher or a certain instructor. What I have discovered in life, in my just my own going around things, is a lot of times teachers just quote their teachers who are quoting their teachers who are quoting their teachers who are quoting their teachers. So we're studying what the teachers have to say rather than the text themselves. Well, in Jesus' day, that was a big deal. That's what they had. They had all these rules and things that they went by that were just handed down teachings to explain the text rather than just living according to the text. I like what he says. Anyone who resolves to do, see, the resolve is to do the will of God, not to know, not to have more enlightenment. You think about it, you all are back to the Garden of Eden, the, the knowledge of the, the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It's, it's men and humans are driven for knowledge, more knowledge, more knowledge, more knowledge. Uh, YouTube, Google, we, don't, we want more knowledge, we want more knowledge. It's amazing how you can just bring up anything arbitrary that maybe you have studied and somebody's watched a YouTube video on it and can correct you. It's funny to me that we use these things that are not vetted to compare knowledge or to look like we know more than we do. It seems to me the people that know a lot do a lot. Of whom much is given, much is required. And so listen to what he says. Anybody, anyone who has resolved made up their mind to act, to do the will of God, will know if the teaching is correct or not. We have so many people that follow after some sort of uh, um, novel teaching, some sort of, you know, there's numbers in a... I, I watched a guy the other day, he talks about the first word of the Bible, Hebrew is a better sheet, and, and how that, if you take the numbers and the symbols, equals up to basically Jesus is coming. So, hey, the Bible's true. I think that's, um, well... I won't tell you what I think that is. But if, you know, if we would just get in the text, I mean, honestly, get in the text. Let's study the life of Christ. Let's listen to what he said. Let's watch how he treated people and then resolve to do the same. Then we don't have to worry about where the teaching is coming from and who said this or what, what theology is this wrapped up in. Just do what it says. You know, go tell people about Jesus. Uh, have compassion. Have mercy. Be kind. Be soft-spoken. Just do the will of God, and you'll know what the teaching is. Isn't that amazing? If, if you just resolve to do it, you'll understand. And I think Jesus' is teaching is something that's very phenomenal here, that resolve in your own heart that you're going to do the will of God, not follow after the teachings of man so that you can identify with this class or this church or that church or whatever. Just simply say, I believe in God, I trust Him, and I'm going to do His will in every single interaction that I have. Do the will of God. And you'll know the truth. And you'll know what teaching is correct. Isn't that good? Because you don't have to have a theological degree. You don't have to have um, all these other things. If you would just take and, and read the red, read the red and then practice it in your life, then you're going to know because God's going to speak into your very being the things that are truth. You know, that's something we can do today. You can do this today. Remember, this is the day the Lord hath made. Rejoice, be glad in it, prepare for 
um, the wet weather that's coming and, and just celebrate that you're not on the coast. Remember those that are on the coast that have been hurt, um, have lost things um, due to Hurricane Laura. Pray for those that are in need. Pray for the peace of our country. Pray for an opportunity to show Christ to somebody else today. I'll talk to you later.